I never wish that to any player. Oh, oh. you're kidding me! <laughs> An impossible blocked backhand. Radvan. Spectacular point, absolutely all over the return, right back at the server. Who could only half volley something up, she had nothing else she could do. Nothing else, I mean, when she does that, it's well done for her. And Katarina doesn't like it because she likes to be the A player, right? Lovely. She's been very smooth so far. Game and for set. It's a fabulous end to a really clean Why set of tennis from Petra Kvitova. She had bags of chances to break. In the end, just one break was all she needed. And she's on her way with a... No stopping that. In, you know what's tricky again? Nice. She had no clue which way that forehand was going. Fabulous angle and a fabulous winner. Oh, she's made it. Oh, would you believe it? Bruce so well here she was on her oh sizzling return of serve wasn't it very good responses. That's an excellent response from Ekaterina Alexandrova. Rebounding beautifully from the loss of the opening set with some very eye catching tennis. It was consistent. And again, just the one break of serve. The minute she hit up on that ball and dropped it a fraction. Two. Yes, it doesn't make for very long rallies, and it's beautiful to see that as a spectator, <laughs> not to be there on court and feel that. Do something more. Other than that, you gotta forget. But they come with this shot. Because they're going to come with shots out of nowhere. And if you dwell on it too much. That is how it feels to make the semi-finals in Miami for the very first time. It's been a long wait to reach the last four here for Petra Kvitova. But it's been worth it, she will feel.
getting past Ekaterina Alexandrova in such a tight contest. But these are the kind of matches she's making a really good habit of winning this year. And the world number 12, former world number two, 